Well, uh, here we are again. When's the next Munchpack unboxing? What happened to Munchpack? Why aren't you doing Munchpack? Where is it? It's here. Oh, yes, Munchpack. Oh, you love to see me suffer. But yes, Munchpack is a box of edible goodness. So hello, good morning, how you're doing? Hope you're all very well. I'm Joe Warlock. I probably won't be very well very shortly. Right, Munchpack, US edible box, not the box, the stuff that's in it. Three different types, uh, 9.95, five items, 19.95, 10 items, and a family one, 39.95, with 20 plus items. Don't know which one this is until I open it, which is terrifying because, you know, five items I can cope with. 10, that's pushing it. 20, uh, okay, uh, let's, let's cut this open. I'm actually shaking. It's been a while. Here we go. Doesn't matter if I see what's in it. Made just for you by Jason. That was very kind. Thank you, Jason. And then, oh yeah, and on the back it's got prizes. Right. First thing is uh, coming in random things to Subway. Get off. Sabritas. Creamy as I don't know. Looks like garlic bread. Could be garlic bread crisp. I don't know. Very Walker's Crisp style. Maybe that's their flavour in Mexico or wherever this is from. I don't know. Right. Garlic bread flavour. What is this? Oh, there's more stuff in here. Look at the coupon codes inside the packet. Oh. Oh. That was a strong um, smell. I just don't know what it was. Mmm. I said garlic bread, but there's a uh, there's celery on the front of that. Creamy, creamy celery. I'm not sure. I don't know what to make of that. It's not the worst taste I've ever had. It's not the nicest, but it's it's all right. I don't think I've ever started off one of these boxes by going, yeah, that's all right, but that's all right. Right, here we go. Baba. Peanut snacks with hazelnut cream filling. I'm guessing they're peanut snacks with hazelnut cream filling. Look, they look absolutely terrifying. They may be absolutely delightful. Hazelnut, I don't know. Um, can't really think of hazelnut. I don't know what it tastes like. Oh, well, now I do, because I know, wow, that is a strong hazelnut smell. Ooh. Image on the back, it. Actual item. Kind of looks a bit not as colourful, shall we say. Um. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like peanut butter. But that was not peanut butter. That was um That was hazelnut with a squelchy creamy filling. Oh uh, no. No, no. No no. Oh. I was expecting a concerto with flavours. Not that. That was not what I expected. Ooh, next item. Haribo! Ah, oh, these are easy. Haribo droppies. They're, they're just like little gummies, chewable, full of sugar. Oh, focus. Oh, here we go. Right. Easy enough. Tiny, tiny little bits of sugar. Give them to your kids. Make them swing from the ceiling and run around up, upside down. Because that's what it'll do. Uh, yeah. No, let's do it. They're just very, very chewable little... Sugary jelly things of hyperactivity. Moving on, we have Cheeto shots, flaming hot, cool. And then just, I don't know, some random instructions. Yeah, just flaming hot Cheetos. Cheetos the cheetah, I don't know what his name is. How do we, is there a special way to open these or do we just, ah, oh, no, I've got to find out how to open them. This looks complex. You just pull the pack apart and that would open them. Ooh, let's have a smell. Ooh. Oh, they smell like, um, Knickknacks. Has anyone ever had knickknacks? I used to love them as a kid. Ridiculous. A sort of spicy, oh, I don't know what they were called, like rib flavour of sort of Rib flavour? Is that a thing? I'm going mad. Anyway, let's have a look. Well, they're very red, which is usually a sign of gonna not be good for you, but I don't know. Oh, I'm very nearly crying. You think I'd learn with hot things? Especially if you're doing so many of these. Put one in, not a handful. 
that is literally the hottest thing I've ever had in one of these boxes. My mouth is on fire. Oh, uh, I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna be able to taste anything else after that, but hey, let's keep going. We have Mega Load. Oh, I think I've had these before. They're like um biscuits covered in not satsumas. What am I on about? It's affecting me brain. Uh ma not marzipan. Not Maltesers. What is the word I'm looking for? Smarties. Marzipan. Ooh, so here we go. We have like an Oreo style cake. This is kind of weird. Uh Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like Oreos. Not Smarties. M&M's. That's it. An M&M's style one. So get some M&M's in here. Mmm. That's really nice. And finally, quite literally, just a cookie one. I love the fact they're all just coated in chocolate. So. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, when lovely, the next thing. Bonbons, I fell. Watermelon flavor. Awesome. Gonna guess they taste like watermelon. Or not at all. Um. Oh. I was expecting something soft. These are not soft at all. They look like tiny watermelons. And the rock hard. That was weird. I bit into it and it just tasted like chalk. And I chewed it and I was like, this just tastes like chalk. It's minging. Then just the flavor, just watermelon flavor everywhere. I was like, what? I mean, buy a watermelon, probably cheaper, but that's weirdly watermelony. Oh, more things. Right, let's keep going. We have Click Choco Kid. Choco Kid? What kind of a thing is that? It's like a chocolate child is very strange. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, it's all falling apart. Oh, it's it's literally quite useful, actually. Sort of a bubbly chocolate with uh, like cream inside, I think. I not really smell of anything. Hmm. Just literally tastes like chocolate with a sort of creamy inside. Nothing spectacular about that. Pretty bland, to be honest, but it's something. Believe it or not, I actually enjoy doing these boxes, apart from the part where I get really, really hot and disgusting items. Not Max! Nutty Max. Uh, what? Nutty Max? And it's got green stuff in? Possibly full of nuts? What? I have no clue. And it tells me nothing. Because it's all in Arabic. Useful. I don't speak Arabic, sadly. So, don't know what it is. Let's have a look. Oh, it looks a bit like a bueno bar. Hmm. It's a lot of packaging. Oh, it's all exploding everywhere. Doesn't smell of anything? I mean, that's a strange looking thing. Uh, okay, let's just... Maybe it's just me, but that tastes exactly like a Bueno bar, just with a slightly more nutty flavor. Oh no, it's not that bad. It's actually um, kind of nice, and I love the sort of Bueno bars that just, ah. And double dip pepero, whatever that is. I was really hoping there was a drink in here. Let's have a look. It's probably something coffee flavoured, judging by that. We know my history of coffee. It's not a good one. Uh, let's open it up. Let's see what it is. Did, maybe you dip these actually in coffee, do you? I don't... No? It looks like a... Oh, God, it smells horrendously of coffee. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's coffee. Wow. Um... Oh, my... That's, what? Yeah, that is a strong coffee smell. Uh, you dip it in coffee and tea, double dip. I'm just gonna. Uh. Why? Why would you flavour something like it's just been dipped in rancid coffee beans? That's just. I don't like coffee anyway. Uh. Oh, that that was just horrible. That was actually horrible. What do we have? Silhouette rolled wafers. Ooh, French truffle lined. They look exceptionally nice. They may be exceptionally bad. Well, let's have a look. Could be something quite delicious. I didn't realise I could take tiny, tiny bites. I see people do it all the time. They're like, mm-hmm, that tastes okay. Ooh, I'm not keen on that. But now take a massive bite. 
get the full experience. That's my advice. Don't take my advice ever, basically. Um, there we go. It's a, it's a weird looking thing. I don't know. What's it supposed to taste like? Delicious light crispy wafer with gourmet truffle lining. Okay. What? That's like biting into heaven. I've never seen these before, but how do you explain? It's just delicious. That was literally like everything just went. Oh, wow. Oh, still more things. Goodness me. Finny roller candy. Oh, these are um, just like sugar candy. Strips of strips of sugar. Oh, wow, this is a true. It's so much sugar. Look at that. That is just pure, pure hyperactivity. And I'm someone who's, you know, people go, oh, you've got ADHD. No. But um, that is, that is pure sugar, which is not going to be good for me because I don't react well with caffeine, coffee, sugar, anything ever, really. Sounds a bit hyper. Oh my, the sugar, it's just falling off. I was going to, um, mm. It's pure sugar. You wouldn't in a million years give that to a kid. They would be punching down walls. That is insane. It's everywhere. <gasps> that was Munchback. My mind has gone blank because there are so many horrific flavors bounding around my stomach right now, but some nice ones as well. So yes, Munchback, if you want one, I'll leave a link below. As always, thank you to all the patrons. Hit the like button if you're into that kind of thing. Subscribe if that's your other kind of thing. But most importantly, be happy, be three, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Be three? Be three. Yes, don't be one or two, always be three. What?